Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing good and keeping safe. So in today's video, we're gonna make a beautiful painting of hibiscus. So let's enjoy coloring. So the colors which I have used here are golden yellow, orange, red and black. So now let's start. So at the first I'm dipping my brush in water to make it moist and now I'm taking orange color and applying the base coat of orange to it and a touch of red and little bit of golden yellow to the mixture. And now over here we are increasing the intensity of red on the color, orange color to just show the shadows which are falling upon the flower. And now over here we are taking golden yellow on our brush and just applying it over the end of the curve to show the highlights which are falling. So in this painting the light is falling from the left side so all the shadows will be forming on the right side of the flower. So now over here I have mixed little bit of black to red color and now I am applying it to the corners of the flower as they are on the left right side and they will be having the shadow so to show the shadow we will be mainly using red and black and now I am just making that flower line more prominently visible and now I am adding the veins of the flower which are having the shadow Don't worry about the finishing right now when we are gonna make the background we are gonna do the finishing along with making the background so just enjoy this process of coloring with me and now we are gonna repeat the same process for all the petals of the orange flower here the base coat will be orange for all the petals present in the orange flower and here I am mixing orange to it and now we will be adding white and yellow for the shadows and red and yellow for the highlights to learn the slower version of this painting and to learn in depth with my personal guidance and support do join me over my Patreon. and so now here we're gonna smoothly blend all the colors together so one tip over here that if you have applied a very thick layer of orange then what you can do the golden yellow will not be that prominently visible so you what you need to do is that you just need to mix a little bit of white to that golden yellow to make it more prominently visible and then add the shadows using the red color
सो नाउ ओवर हियर वी आर मिक्सिंग गोल्डन येलो टू दी ऑरेंज वेरी स्मूथली जस्ट टू शो दी वेन्स ऑफ द फ्लावर So now over here we are making the filament of the flower, but I have I was not you know kind of not happy with how it turned out. So at the end of the painting, what I did was that I just changed the color of the filament, which you are going to see in the end of this painting. Now to make the leafy part we are using white along with a touch of sabri and unbleached titanium
and now we're going to add shadows between the petals for that use a very diluted black color for that and then use round brush to blend that diluted layer so we need to do it uh, twice thrice because it's a diluted layer and we won't be getting a opaque look very easily so we need to go over it again and again just to get a good look We're gonna start the second flower. The second flower is having a base coat of gold and yellow, and we're going to make highlights and shadows using white and red color. So now here we are going to add shadows using a very diluted layer of black color. So here we are showing the shadow of the other petal on the lower petal.
have made many modifications in this painting of camera which you are going to see when we are going to make the background as right after making the flower i was not happy with how it turned out so i just fix it off camera and when we are going to make the background you are going to see what are the fixtures i have done over there back part which will be the most darkest part of this flower as this flower is a bit turned towards this side and the last petal of it is beneath the yellow flower so it will be having most of the shadows with it i am also adding little bit of white to it and we are going to make the shadows in it using the brown colors mostly and a touch of black to alerism crimson or scarlet lake stopped shooting and even i did not notice i was so busy in painting but i can tell you what are the main colors i have used here the colors which i have used are sap green bone cyan and yellow ochre Enjoy this complete process with step by step guidelines and my personal guidance and support to watch a slower version of this painting. You can always join me on my Patreon where you will be learning from my personal guidance and support and you will be learning this process each by each step. So you are going to get some exclusive content, Q&A sessions and many more things so do join me. over here i am giving a blended feel to our leaf but at the end i was not happy how it turned out so i even changed the leaves but that also off camera but you will be able to understand what the things i did so see you at that part So while I was making the leaves I thought of giving it such a rustic look but it I was not happy so what I did was that I just changed the alignment of the leaf and just added the shadows So now over here I am mixing Persian blue with a little bit of dark green. So before that I have applied a thin layer of a white acrylic color and applied little bit of dark green on the corner and mixed it in a cross manner. Now I am mixing light blue to white and just making them mix together. And then gradually we gonna add Persian blue to just make the shadow of the leaf like this and then we will be slowly blending this using the white color to the green color which we applied earlier 